Hey there, this is AJ Holmes at the Negative Supply Headquarters. Today we wanted to make a quick video comparing the differences between our film scanning light sources to help you best decide which one is best for your workflow and your needs. Let's start by introducing the lights we're using for today's video. So first up, we have our 5x7 Light Source Pro 99CRI. Second, we have our 4x5 Light Source Basic 99CRI. And third, but absolutely not least, is our Light Source Mini 97CRI. For today's comparison, we're going to consider a few different factors. Color Rendering Index, or CRI rating, brightness, size, and price point. So our newest light source, the Light Source Mini 97 CRI, is, as the name suggests, a 97 CRI light. This is really a perfect average of our previous offerings of 95 and 99 CRI, really giving you the benefit of a higher CRI rating without having to pay so much extra money to go all the way to 99 CRI. It is really a nice balance. Whereas our 4x5 Light Source Basic has always been available in two CRI ratings, 95 CRI, which is a bit more affordable, better for black and white film scanning, or I should say suitable for black and white. Uh, if you're doing mostly color scanning, you would want to go to a higher CRI of at least 97. But this has been available in 95 or 99 CRI. Similar to our 5x7 Light Source Pro, it has also always been available in 95 or 99 CRI. So the big difference here is that, like I said, the Light Source Mini is a perfect average of the two CRI values and offers a nice compromise of cost and color conversion quality. The physical size and the actual scanning area of these light sources is another pretty big difference. So first up, our 5x7 Light Source Pro actually has a pretty large top surface area. Uh, but once you put the supplied mask in place, it's designed to scan, ideally, up to 4 by 5 inch large format film. Uh, this light's also fairly tall, fairly wide, fairly long. Uh, will take up a, a bit of space on your desk, um, but it is uh, certainly suitable for scanning large format film. After that, our 4 by 5 Light Source Basic, you'll immediately notice, is quite a bit slimmer than the Light Source Pro. It's not as long, it's not as wide, it's not as heavy. Uh, but it will, as the name suggests, uh, still permit scanning up to 4x5 large format. That's the absolute ceiling for this light source, but it can be done. Last, we have our Light Source Mini. This is our first light source where we have focused on making it absolutely as good as possible for scanning roll film formats. So anything up to 6x9 centimeter 120 film, you can scan in a single image capture with this light source. Um, so that covers almost every conventional film format. You know, if you're someone who's gonna be shooting a lot of four x five and needs to scan that as well, considering our four x five light source basic or one of our light source pro offerings would still better suit you. But if you're just doing 35 or 120 or mounted slides in 35 or 120, the light source mini is really about the best option. One other notable difference between these light sources is the affordability of them. So kind of moving here from my left to right, they go in that order on the pricing scale. So the Light Source Mini 97 CRI is our most affordable out of the group here. The 4x5 Light Source Basic 99 CRI is a bit more expensive than the Light Source Mini. And then the jump up to the 5x7 Light Source Pro is significant. The 5x7 Light Source Pro uses quite a few more light bulbs, more machined aluminum parts, uh, you know, has lots more on board in the way of uh, certain components that are quite expensive to help keep it cool and uh, well regulated. So from left to right, Light Source Mini, 4x5 Light Source Basic, and 5x7 Light Source Pro. Least expensive, most expensive. So the two most notable differences between the light sources compared in this video are the CRI rating and brightness level. So in this test, we're gonna show you using the same exact film carrier, camera, lens, exact same negative, etc. We're gonna show you what shutter speed settings and capture settings we're getting with the same negative by comparing all the lights in this video. Up first, we're gonna use our 5x7 Light Source Pro 99 CRI. In order to use this light source, 
For scanning 35 millimeter, we really needed to add our Pro Mount Mark II with its adapter plate. And then we're using the Pro Film Carrier 35. So what's gonna be consistent between testing all of these lights is we're gonna use the adapter plate, the Pro Film Carrier 35, and the Pro Film Carrier 35 scanning hood along with the exact same negative for each test. So for the first one here, I'm using our Canon EOS 77D in our EFS 60 millimeter f2.8 macro. This is just one of the cameras we have here on the set. I'm in aperture priority mode. I'm using just a standard metering pattern. ISO 100 f8.0, these are normally the settings I use to scan. And we are coming in right at 125th of a second with the Light Source Pro. Now, this isn't the thinnest negative or the most dense. This is a pretty good average. So that's something that's gonna be important to keep in mind. So up next, with the same negative, same lens, same camera, we have our 4x5 Light Source Basic 99 CRI in place. And you can see for yourself, at ISO 100 f8.0, we've gone from a 125th of a second with the 5x7 Light Source Pro down to a 13th of a second. So what is that? Three and one third stops difference in brightness uh, just for moving from one light to the next. So let's take a look at the Light Source Mini and see how it compares to these two other options. All right, so now we've switched over to our Light Source Mini 97 CRI. Again, same exact negative film carrier lens, digital camera settings. Uh, to recap, aperture priority mode, ISO 100 f8.0. No exposure compensation is dialed in, and we are at a 125th of a second. That is the exact same shutter speed that we were getting with the 5x7 Light Source Pro 99 CRI. And this is why I say brightness is probably the single most important comparison between these lights, because the Light Source Mini is not only the most affordable light in this video, um, but it's giving you the same exact light output as our 5x7 Light Source Pro, which is over three times more money. We're gonna demonstrate a couple other ways uh, to show the differences in brightness here. The next way we're gonna do it is by just doing a spot meter reading of each of these light sources on without film in place. Up first, we have our Light Source Mini 99 CRI. We're using a spot meter we have here at the shop and an F8.0 ISO 100, the meter is giving us a thousandth of a second shutter speed. That's one over 1,000. Up next, we have our 4x5 Light Source Basic 99 CRI. And at ISO 100 f8.0, we're getting a 60th of a second without film in place. So four full stops slower than the Light Source Mini. Let's take a look at the Light Source Pro next. So last up, our 5x7 Light Source Pro 99 CRI, again at ISO 100 f8.0 using our spot meter, we're getting a thousandth of a second. So that's the same capture speed, the same shutter speed as our Light Source Mini, four full stops brighter than the 4x5 Light Source Basic. Uh, one point of note, however, with the 5x7 Light Source Pro, the spot meter is suggesting that it's between one and two tenths of a stop brighter than the Light Source Mini, but our camera in aperture priority mode wasn't even picking up the difference. So you get to the point where you're really splitting hairs. In the real world, this light source and our light source Mini 97 CRI are gonna have the same practical shutter speed. Our last brightness comparison is really gonna focus on our 4x5 light source basic 99 CRI and our light source Mini 97 CRI. We've omitted the 5x7 light source Pro 99 CRI from this test because it's so much larger and also because it's giving the same practical shutter speed as the light source Mini 97 CRI we figured we'd just show you the difference between the two smaller light sources. So now that both of these lights are on, it is very obvious immediately that the Light Source Mini 97 CRI is just as that spot meter and the digital camera said, multiple stops brighter. Uh, four stops brighter on the average. The Light Source Mini is actually difficult to even look at. Um, it has that in common with the 5x7 Light Source Pro. They're just really bright. They're like a projector when you turn them on. And that's a good problem to have. We want to be able to maintain a fast, consistently high shutter speed to minimize shake and vibrations, and make sure we're maximizing sharpness and accuracy when scanning our film. Thanks for tuning into this comparison of a few of our film scanning light sources. 
I'm sure you probably have a few questions and we would love to answer them for you. So let us know in the comments or you can schedule a concierge call with us on our website or use the live chat function on our website. You will speak to one of our team members. We're all film photographers. We all love and use the tools that we make and sell. Um, so if you have questions, let us know. Thanks for tuning in and until next time, shoot some film.